In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a cutout in Photoshop using a layer mask. Um, first, I can see that I have my background layer here. It is locked. Uh, it's also my original photo that I don't want to edit just in case I screw something up. I want to be able to go back to the original. So the fir very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my background layer and I'm going to choose duplicate layer. Just go ahead and hit OK. Um, you can see it's called background copy. My background layer now I'm going to turn off and I'm not going to edit this layer at all. I'm going to just let that sit there. It'll increase my file size but I want that just to be in the background. If I ever um, mess anything up on this layer I can go back to the original um, version from the camera. Now this one's already been, this image has already been color corrected and, and all of that so we're just going to uh, skip ahead to the cutout. What I want to do is I have my layer that I'm going to edit and I want to add a layer mask. And to do that, I'm going to go down here. So this icon here says Add Layer Mask. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, now you can see that I have a little white box next to my photo. And basically the way that a layer mask works, uh, I'll go ahead and increase the size of my thumbnails here if I can. Large thumbnails. Okay, so you can see the way the layer mask works is that um, when it is white, it is revealing all of the pixels. Um, if I were to paint black on this, it would start to hide pixels. And so that's the format that we're going to use. Um, it's a lossless editing um, technique that's, that, which basically means that we're not actually deleting any pixels, we're just hiding the ones we don't want to see for right now. We're not actually losing any uh, information in the photo. So I'll go ahead and I will zoom out and I'm just going to take my paintbrush tool to start and I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is black. Um, I'll use my right bracket key to increase my file size or I'm sorry my brush size but I can also go up here and change uh, the brush size up here. This is a decent sized brush. I'm just going to go ahead and as I start to paint black you'll see that those pixels go away. Okay so I'm just gonna get rid of the outlying areas. Now, I've got a pretty soft brush so I don't want to get too close to the person I'm trying to cut out. Um, then I'm going to zoom in a little closer. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. You want to be at least at 100%. You can see here I'm at 321%. Uh, I want to be at least 200. Um, so this is fine. I'll stay here at 200. I'm going to choose a much smaller brush. Uh, when I go around to do the details, um, we'll go in here and we'll just go down. Uh, I'm going to go really small actually. And I don't want the hardness to be zero. I want to go hardness about 75, 80%. Okay. Now, when I go and I start to paint black now, you can see that um, it's not going to draw a super hard line, but it's going to allow me to take away a lot of the background. on my space bar and I can get this little hand tool and I can move around um, the object. When I start getting into the very fine details, I'm going to zoom in even closer and use a smaller brush.
just painting black and I had this layer mask selected, um, you can see wherever it's black is where the pixels are being hidden, wherever it's white is where they are revealed. Uh, we just want to go around and fine tune. There you can just try and mimic the edge of the hair. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to get much of that green out of that from outside of that background, but want it to look as natural ends to her hair. So just kind of do what you can there. And again, we're so close. We are so close, it's so far zoomed in that um, even if it doesn't look perfect when you're up close, uh, when you get when you get to a point when you zoom out, it's gonna look so good. So don't worry about it if it doesn't look perfect when you are zoomed all the way in. You're at 400%, and that's if you are gonna use this picture at full size uh, when you go to print. A lot of times it's even smaller than actual size. So um, you can see a little color tint here. So I'm just gonna a little bit of that. 